What's up? Hello, hello. I finished. Oh wait, I think I just walked. I walked into another class. The Weichi pieces were scattered, I... <laughs> but the guru remained uh... calm. It's getting late. Pain. He said gently to the woodcutter. I just thought. <laughs> Shouldn't you be heading down the mountain? As he glanced at the sky, the woodcutter was shocked to see how much time had passed. It couldn't have been more than two hours, he thought in disbelief. Feeling apologetic, he prepared to leave, worried that the guru would be annoyed with him. But when the woodcutter turned around, he nearly jumped out of his skin. The hermit guru, who had been playing Wei Chi and drinking the start of wine, quest? was Aww. now gone. I didn't mean to start that. In his place lay a shattered uh, Wei Chi board that's fine. and I'll a, do a little bit, of I decaying guess. bones. I'm doing good. How are you? The woodcutter was so scared that he dropped his bamboo basket and ran down the mountain without even looking back. As he reached the mountain's base, he was hit with a stark realization. The quaint village he remembered had bloomed into a bustling town with sturdy brick houses replacing the humble thatched cottages. And where his home once stood, only an empty wasteland remained. He noticed a date on the calendar that he had never seen before. In shock, he grabbed a passerby and urgently asked, Excuse me, can you tell me the current date and time? As he heard the answer, his legs went weak. Everything had changed. Time had passed, and his loved ones were gone. No one remembered him anymore. So the woodcutter left Mount Firmament, but how is he still alive and kicking? With a hundred years worth of time inside him, shouldn't he? Your story... It's a bit far-fetched, don't you think? I mean, if I wasn't from Hangzhen, I might have fallen for it. Well, that's the whole point. The truth is stranger than fiction, my friend. Every detail in that story is based on real events. Let me share with you the other legend of Mount Firmament. For deep within its sacred peaks lies a powerful secret. The secret of immortality. We all Being know called for food. Okay. that Mount Starting Firmament your day. is the abode oh, of good the morning. sentinel, <laughs> oh my. spiritual energies from both heaven and earth for countless eons. Over time, even the mountain itself has taken on the form of our majestic sentinel. Living in the mountains for long stretches of time, surrounded by fresh air and drinking from nature's own bounty, can add years to one's lifespan. It all starts with that game of Weichi, one that the woodcutter stumbled upon. Too bad those secrets have been long forgotten. Gather around now, people. You're in for the story of a lifetime. Die, ma'am. Cheng Li. touching my head that that's the panic i expect the amount of panic she had in her I'll face just now <laughs> that's what i expect see that makes sense what's with the ruckus huh what's that in your hands yeah. angley gave it to me <gasps> behold hong jen in its entirety next to a ring and hanging eaves when eternal snow thaw into flowing streams, let us reconvene. Hmm? Eh? Ah? Whoa, I ah. see, I see. 
sounded like a Minecraft villager for a second. You do? I, see, I'm assuming you're saying I see, I see the way I say it, where it's like you don't actually get it, but you're just saying it. I see, I've got no. Clue yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I was, it was something like that. It was something like that. So much for the anticipation. I get the very last part at least. She's asking you out. <laughs> well, oh. that's a fancy way to write stuff. That's. <laughs> Not like that, though, unfortunately. And now, this next sentence. Hmm. Eternal mm. snow thought into streams. Hmm. Uh, what is that hmm. supposed to mean? Maybe it's something to do with local folklore. Oh, how did you manage to get all that hidden meaning? I'm experienced. Dealt with the Jinji's riddles. But the buildings in Hongzhen all look pretty much the same. Which one exactly was she talking about? We can ask around. Uh, makes sense. Lead the way! More Changli, less flying. Brat. <laughs> Alright, well we started her... thing here, but I think we're gonna chill? So, I'll, we actually started it. Um, by accidentally. And then she came and she gave us something. And I had to talk to these people. What do you want? I've done nothing wrong. Huh? Oh, you're just asking for directions. <laughs> Sorry. I I'm not a local. Can't help you there. Why does he sound so suspicious, bro? Wait, y y you... I cut him off. Whoops. But he seems scared that I was one talking to Chang If I were you, I'd steer clear of her. She's a deceitful woman who enjoys toying with people's hearts. A cunning villain who will manipulate you without you even knowing it. I'm about to smack that dumbass smirk off your face. Say that one more time, buddy. <laughs> Haven't you heard? She left her government job to come here, to this small town. There's got to be a reason behind it. Let me be his ass I heard right now. She chose to quit her job, but I bet she messed up back in the capital and got demoted here as punishment. <laughs> Not everyone values power. Then in I fame. guess you've also been fooled by her looks. That woman will stop at nothing to get what she wants, while you remain oblivious to her true intentions. I don't even care. And by the time you catch on, she could <laughs> ruin me, and I, I think her trap. Wait a minute. Has she actually achieved anything substantial during her time in Jinzhou? Or did Madame Magistrate just fall for her clever words and let her slack off? You're underestimating Jin Z. <laughs> I say you're underestimating Chang Li's trickery. She's literally her teacher. I heard she tricked that VIP guest of Jinzhou into going to Mount Firmament. <laughs> just think about how dangerous that place was. She didn't even trick us. She must have been afraid of him getting too close to Madame Magistrate and ruining her plans. <laughs> what a sinister woman. Fortunately, she went there to help that her. Guest was a skilled oh, fighter. This guy's a fucking he managed to escape wad. unharmed. I hope you don't mind my frankness. Just giving some advice, because you look pretty innocent and uh, gullible. <laughs> Enough from Jin Joe, judging by your outfit. You look right. Sorry for my frankness. You look innocent and gullible. Uh, you wanna come in my van? That's what this bitch sounds like. I am that VIP guest. Oh shoot! I completely forgot about something I need to do. Sorry, gotta run. Let me kill him. Let me at him. Let me at him. Man, can't even kill him. What's the point? Uh, I'll talk to the other guy and I'll talk to the girl. What can I help you with? When snow thaw into streams? Ah, uh, you're not from around here, I bet. Do I look like when it? When we say that in Hangzhen, we mean the Shichen of Wei. Early afternoon, 
the warmest hours of a day. Mm -hmm. Legend tells of a visitor who ventured here some centuries ago. Back then, local villagers were struggling with no firewood due to heavy snow. Mm. This visitor opened up a path with their forte and diverted a hot spring to provide warmth and aid. Oh, wait, really? Huh. People say it was once a stunning sight, with mist and ice flowing westward down the streams, as if many celestial beings were returning to the sea. Now the site has unfortunately disappeared, but the saying sticks. We use it to describe time in local speech. I like this one. I like this guy better. You're a great storyteller. Oh, please. I'm only repeating what I've heard from him. He's been on a roll with his stories lately, but let's not take them too seriously. They're just for entertainment. You don't believe in them? Not that I don't want to believe them, but... Oh, you were listening to one of his stories earlier too, right? What did you think? I wasn't mentioned, so thumbs down. It sounds really? interesting. So you're into stories and anecdotes too? Grandpa Zhou's great-grandfather was a descendant of the first inhabitants of Hangzhen. He grew up hearing stories about Mount Firmament. Recently, he heard Madam Magistrate had resolved the crisis, so he decided to visit and learn more about his roots. People in town are curious about the outside world and how they are perceived. Grandpa Zhou is happy to answer their questions and has unknowingly become popular among them. Before he knew it, Everyone was coming to talk to him. Must be a fan. It's funny to hear outsiders describe my hometown, Han Zhen, as mysterious. We're just a normal place with our own quirks. Especially lately, with so many people from Jinzhou coming on some kind of expedition. They're obsessed with us. Like we're some kind of ancient relics. Can you believe they actually asked if our pavo plums have magical powers? <laughs> Time truly is a formidable force. Then talk to the girl. Huh? How did she disappear like that? Wait. Are you that legendary rover who saved Jin Zhou? <clears throat> what can I do for you? Well, you've come to the right person. I'm here to compile a new travel guide for Hong Jin. Next door ring and hanging eaves. Oh, I know where that is. You'll need to stand on the tallest building in Hangzhen to see what you're looking for. Hi, Sleepy. It's on the northeast side of the town. Can't miss it. You'll see it once you get there. Say, that person earlier, that was Lady Cheng Li, right? I saw you talking to her. Yes. I can't help but feel envious. Yes. I wish I could speak to her like you did, but she mm. refuses to do interviews with the Pioneer Association. Plus, I doubt we have anything in common to talk Lee's about anyway. Trail. As Master Xuan Miao's disciple, she excels in the arts of politics and diplomacy. Her travels have taken her across the four seas, and as Secretary General, she has commanded respect from all who cross her path. Yeah, and she came all the way to Jinzhou to help out Magistrate Jinxi for the sake of peace in Huanglong. She's been working tirelessly behind the scenes since then, fully dedicated to her task. How could anyone not revere such a selfless act? <sighs> I could have sworn I just saw her. Where did she go? I 
wish I could take one more look. Uh... Oh. <laughs> yeah, watch me play as me doing my hey, quest. Why are the people here so divided about Chung Li? I don't know. So let's figure it out. Mm. You humans make everything so complicated. Well, at least now we know what she wanted to say. Let's meet at the highest place in the early afternoon. No, that's much easier to understand. Why does she have to make it a whole riddle? But she's complicated. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy again. Rover? Oh, it's the hot grandma. Nice to see you again. Looking girl. How are you liking Hong Zhen so far? Hello. It's much more livelier than before. The crisis at Mount Firmament has been resolved, and the waterway between Jinzhou and Hongzhen is open once again. As a result, there has been an increase in visitors from Jinzhou, making the town more lively than before. With the chaos subsiding, our town and city are now reconnected, allowing residents to live and work in peace. We owe you a debt of gratitude, Rover for your efforts in clearing the remaining effects of temporal disruptions in Mount Firmament over the past few days. Duh, couldn't have done it without everyone. We're all indebted to you, Hong Zhen and its people alike. If there's anything you need, don't hesitate to ask. Money. I couldn't help but notice you've Chang been asking Li. around. Is there Where something is you need assistance with? I thought I want to know. Xing Yi and Chang Li have a mutual trust. What as the fuck is this? It should be fine to ask Xing Yi instead. They added an echo to her thoughts? Hmm. I see. That sounds like something Chang Li would do. That does sound like it. Even though we're not that close, I know a bit about her personality. She wouldn't just hand over something that symbolizes her identity to anyone. Especially when... I think it would be better for her to tell you personally. The Magistrate's counselor is shrouded in mystery. And her motives are often hard to decipher. When she wants something done, it's never as straightforward as it seems. And few can grasp the true meaning behind Shin her Is playable plans. when? I don't know. I actually think that the would be pretty cool. The controversy surrounding but her But I doubt that cease. we'll ever get her. She's a cool NPC, though. But she though. seems unfazed. Who's that However, Gil? I believe one has to get involved personally I don't know. to truly understand Chang Li's intentions, regardless of public opinion. I'm very curious about her plans. About the riddle. It seems you have already figured it out by yourself. But remember, it's not just about the answer, but also what she wants you to understand. <laughs> then, if you'll excuse me, if there's anything else you need here in Hongzhen, Please do not hesitate to let me know. Don't count against it? <gasps> Maybe we'll be able to play the guild. PGR story had so many characters people thought would never be playable and they created much later. Oh. What is the thing? Oh, wait. I don't think there's actually a thing. Oh, there is! Hello. He. Place. Find the place next to the ring and hanging. Eval. The fuck? Oh, th th this one right here? 
There's hanging stuff here. Next to the ring. There's a ring. Oh, you gave me Cocolia. <laughs> and I... My life is your Cocolia. Gameplay? Sheesh. What am I supposed to do? I, I didn't... I kind of have paid attention. Um... Isn't this what it's supposed to be? Am I like dumb? Oh wait, is it over here? Nani? Make it fast. Pain in the ass, not gonna lie. Aw, oh, flick. I'll find it. I'll find it if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Chang Lee! Yes! Chang Lee! She's so pretty. I know. Hi, Zed! What's up? Oh, a chest. What the fuck? All right. Oh, look, shinies. <laughs> I love that voice line. Oh, look, shinies. Oh. Wait a second. What the fuck is this? I forgot about that. Shiny. <laughs> I wish I sounded that seductive. What the hell? I sound like a. <laughs> Free UNC boy. What the hell? Got a big crowd today. Any more than that, my eyes won't. Okay. Erm. Where is it? Grandpa the Lost. The place next to a ring and hanging. I don't even know what that is. What the fuck? There's a seating place up here? Honestly, Make this would be really... There's a chest over there. How do you like these? Wait. This is, this is not it. But wait! Oh my god, fucking... I might have to edit this out of the fucking VOD that I was gonna post on YouTube. Just me literally running around looking for this stupid... Oh. That the seeds of blaze. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'll give you a hint if you would like. No, I'll find it. S probably. Make um, it fast. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I got this. <laughs> I might just add a. No, it's not you. I don't have to talk. Do I have to talk to a person or do I have to find something? Uh, at least, yeah, at least tell me that. Do I have to talk to a person? Or am I just finding something? Let's go and find a place. Is it up there? <sighs> Make it fast. already been up here. Is it even more up? <gasps> what the f A ring, she wrote. What? 
that is the ring shaped ancient structure, I guess. I couldn't wow. even see that! It's really huge now that we look at it. I didn't even Next know that was there! Eaves. If we look from here, is it they give that the care pavilion? Hmm. It does look quiet. Should be a nice place for meetings. <sighs> Ugh, getting eepy again. Eepy! That must be the place then. I'll get going. I'm also eepy. I didn't mean to plunge that far. <laughs> Whoops. Fine. Baka. You smell like a baka. Hi, Ethan. What's it? Infernal Rider is good for getting form. places? How? I. Just hold Q. <laughs> In 11 seconds, I will. I want to use it now. So I'm going to wait. Take form. I never rode the bike. I'm riding off the cliff. Ah! Help! I just wanted to ride the bike. I never rode it before. Still not recovered from you and Maddie roasting me last night? <laughs> Why can't I? Oh. 13, 15. It is 13.15. It was almost 13.15. Ooh, a go board. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, faster. <gasps> Hello. Apologies for my delay. Do not worry. Something tells me you've been here for a while. She want me for you real. You looked adorable. Kang Lee is me. Focusing on the way she <gasps> board. I didn't want oh, to interrupt you. She said I was adorable. Thank you for accepting my invitation. <sighs> I see you really love your riddles. She's just like me for real. I also love oh, riddles. And what makes you think so? What is that Those face? Those tokens from Gen C. It was your idea, was it not? <laughs> that smile. <laughs> so, you've guessed it. My goodness. We're just gonna screenshot that. So remember how I said I had like a coupon thing to get like a picture? Should I do a thing of this instead? Because like, holy, Sorry, that's Lover. hot. Jinjo faced oh my God, her tits are huge. Then. And we had to be cautious. You see how big her tits were? We did right? not intend to <laughs> inconvenience you. I regret our lack of hospitality. I'm more or less used to it by now. Still, I owe you an apology in person. Oh, a woman with honor. This time, <laughs> I just wanted to see you. The brilliant mind that always understood my unspoken words. She wanted to see me. I am very grateful you decided to come. See, she seems so like she seems like she's like so scheming and like like a person that like schemes a lot, but she just seems also kind of like lonely. She gives me very like lonely vibes. For like I don't know. I don't. I. I don't know. No. -uh, she wanted to see me. Uh. No. -uh, she wanted to see me. What's the deal this time? Another errand to run. All of these are so mean.
I would just kiss her. <laughs> Apologies for giving you that impression, Rover. That's not how we treat our saviors. I merely have a few questions, and I was wondering if you may have the answers. Oh my god, the boob shot. This angle. <gasps> if I move my head and like look in a certain angle, can I see it? Does this game of Weichi look familiar to you, Rover? No. <laughs> I see. She's saying we've played before? There is a local tale about the secret of immortality being hidden on Mount Firmament. Have I... you heard about it? The one I heard in whatever that place is? Yes. I have a slightly different version of this tale to share. Okay. Centuries ago, a Taoist cultivator met an enigmatic visitor on Mount Firmament. Despite their age difference, they soon became friends and often played Weichi together. Oh, I forgot it's not auto. One day, a woodcutter stumbled upon them having lost his way home. Their game mesmerized him so much that he didn't notice the red tie on his basket, rotting away. Aww. Panicked, he bumped into the Weichi board. Despite the interruption, the visitor remained unfazed. They offered the woodcutter some tea, then guided him down the mountain, shielding him from dangerous temporal disruptions. So that's us, right? After that, the visitor disappeared. Yeah. Many years later, the Taoist cultivator became a legendary hermit guru. Upon returning to Mount Firmament in his final years, he reunited with that elusive visitor. Or is it her as like a child? Could also just be her, as a kid. Cause like... Cause it could be Rover, cause she has short hair too, but I think it actually might be Chain Lee as a kid, right? <laughs> the two resumed their unfinished game. People believe the visitor shared their secret of immortality through cleverly placed Weichi pieces as a final parting gift. You mean this game in front of us? Yes and no. This game is missing the final 20 moves. It is unfinished. That was a bit different from what you heard before, I guess. The story changed over time, infused with fantasy in each retelling. I love how she has a ponytail. Honestly, I actually wanted a ponytail for my design, like my hair design. But I decided to get that more, I decided to get that as a toggle rather than a, a main like design point. But that's how old tales go, slowly losing their truth as they're passed down. You mean other, folk other folklores hold truth too? Some truth. Precisely. The legend may be shrouded in myth, but that game of Weichi was real. Embedded within its records lies a cryptic message. This game record can solve the crisis of time. From what I know, only the Sentinel in its prime has the power to manipulate time through its possession of a complete temporal mandate. For us mere mortals, controlling time is indeed similar to gaining immortality. As the records state, it only reveals itself when Mount Firmament emerges. But how it ties to the temporal mandate remains an enigma. At least for now. The Sentinel's wounds. 
Yes. We may find a way to heal them. But... Our chances are looking slim. That game record could just hold my teacher's memories. Not any real value. Oh, her teacher's memories. So it was her teacher. Like the visitor was her teacher? So I am presenting this as merely a personal request. I am planning to go find that record. Could you please join me? I'll do whatever the fuck you want. Sure. Thank you for lending me a hand. I promise it will be worth your while. I'm interested too. Splendid. It's so early, how about we sit off? Very well. Let's meet on the gallery road outside Hongzhen. See what the heck? I still have some preparations to do. Please go ahead. Rise through, that's crazy. I'll join you later. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I was still in the cutscene because Chang Li was still there. <laughs> but it was actually just my Chang Li standing there. Make it fast. <laughs> I did ask that we were still in the cutscene. Oh my god, it's grandma. Hi. Bye. My freaking head's getting stuck on that. <gasps> Hello. Oh, you know what? Take Actually. <laughs> I finally got to use it. Rover, you're here. Yes. Wasn't expecting you to arrive before me. Well, as the Wayfinder, I do know a couple shortcuts. Well, you definitely know the shortcut to my heart. I trust you'll guide me the well. The notes only provided a vague idea of where the game record is. I've determined the most likely location on my last visit. Mm -hmm. We'll be heading there. See if we can find anything new. This is surprisingly straightforward coming from you. After dealing with those artificers, I ruled out the other locations on my way to join you. We did all of that before but you got one here? can only do so much alone. This is why I need your help. Lucky for you, I'm good at finding things. How reliable. Like a dog. <laughs> then let's get going. Like a dog. <laughs> Wait. I smell something. Cheng Li. What is it? Nothing, Rover. I just thought the snow is beautiful today. Aww. I love her. Her personality. Yeah. Make it fast. I feel like Chang Li would be me if someone didn't know me and I would be all mysterious and stuff in like a timeline like this. It's like, ah, oh, nothing. The snow is just pretty. You seem <laughs> curious about that ancient structure. It looks familiar. Like the abandoned court of Savante facility I saw. But bigger in scale. I heard it first appeared it's along with our sentinel. Ew. Later, the court of Savante based their chronos orders on its design. Every winter, my hometown buzzed as people left their mark in the fresh snow, hoping for dreams to come true when it melted. Did you try it too, Zheng Li? <sighs> no. I only watched from afar. My forte always melted the snow faster than I liked. Aww. I've always wanted to voice act, actually. I thought it was a really cool, like, thing to try. Um, I definitely couldn't do it as a job. I I give voice actors all the props for, for being able to do it as, like, a job and taking care of their voices and stuff. Um, I've always wanted to try it, though. I thought 
I've I've always looked up to people that could do that. So when I hear like, cause like when I hear a character like Chang Lei, and don't get me wrong, she's very hot, and like. I guess the way people are saying it, like dummy mommy type. Make it fast. It always hits a little different when I can like listen to a character's voice and hear like the vulnerability when they are like being vulnerable. Like you can hear the slight changes in their voice depending on the emotion that they're trying to portray. And I've always admired voice actors that can do things like that. Because it, I think it shows a level of like, I don't have to say it, you can hear it. And I'm just that good <laughs> that I can like portray it without even just saying, without just saying I'm sad. It's yeah, it's like layers of debt, not debt, depth. <laughs> I can't pronounce it very well. That. I think I've always wanted to try with voice acting something. I, I'm, I wouldn't be very good at it. I think voice acting takes a lot of skill to do. Um, and I, I think I've always looked up to, really, like, to good voice actors because of that. Especially ones that like voice characters that I really like that make me feel like emotions. Like, other than like, oh my god, hot, hot. But like, does make me feel like emotions in general. Like, Chang Li is actually like making me a, a little bit emotional. I don't know what it is sometimes, but like, I can feel like she has like layers to her that, that is more than just a hot looking person. We can see the whole of Hong Zhen from here. I never noticed how beautiful it looked during my previous visits. It's the same place as always. I suppose it's my state of mind that has changed. Or the company that you're keeping. I don't know. Maybe it's because your presence makes me feel at ease. I just said that. I'm so freaking smart. Down to revisit this line of thought after you finish the companion quest? I'm Wait. so down. I smell tacit discord. You just have to remind key. me. If you don't remind me, I will forget. No, there's more. Tacit How do you discord, smell all this, Abby? Humans and and smells like a whole bunch of messed up frequencies. Ugh, it's so familiar. How could there be tacit discords here? After all we've been through, you still don't trust my sniffer? Huh. Sniffa sniffa. Be grateful. I'm giving you a warning. Can Chang Lee hear Abby? Rover? No. Okay, she Did can't. something happen? Tacit discords are fighting people. It's in the same direction we're going. Could it be? Let's go see. It's time to start a swinging. You don't trust my sniffer? Signs of climbing. Someone may have been here before us. Get away from me! Why are they uh, saying it like that? I can't hold up much longer. Honestly, it seems like you're doing a great job, buddy. Help, help. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, ooh! Thank goodness! Please stand ooh. back. We'll take it from here. I can fight. Let me help. I'm gonna see if he dies. Like, if he actually dies, do I lose? We vanquish. Come on, buddy. You got this. I am fine. Come on, buddy. Did they just stop shooting him? Damn! 
<laughs> they just stopped shooting us. There's no way. Come on, buddy, you got this! They actually just- He's doing it! He's doing it! What a professional soldier. Thanks for your help. Oh, you're so welcome. I I I uh, morally supported you through your adventures. <laughs> Thanks for your help. I, <laughs> I'm okay. Wait, you are you the rover? It would have been funny, cause like, if this was actually me, the rover would be like in a bad context. He'd be like, "Are you the rover?" The one that just stands there and like cheers people on as they're like fighting for their lives <laughs> instead of helping. You're that hero who fought against the Stranodian. And you also resolved the time crisis here with Madam Magistrate. <laughs> Everyone's been talking about you. Yeah, I think this guy's like hallucinating. I don't think I did any of that. And Lady Chung Li. I never thought I'd have the chance to see you in person. Kill him now. He can't. He can't. Only I can oh, see her. Without your help, I'd have been a goner for sure. Nah, I think you would have been fine, honestly. Like, I don't know, just my opinion. I don't, I can't really prove it, you know? Or maybe I could, but I have a feeling that you would have lived. Plot armor and that. I can't die here. <sighs> Not when I've got someone waiting Bro is humble considering he fought himself out of that. You got someone waiting for you? I finally, finally found it. After all this time. Ugh. Oh damn, don't croak here. Oh wait. Uh, relax, your wounds look bad. One HP in a dream. While we've solved the crisis in Mount Firmament for the time being, public access to the mountain is still restricted. Chang Li's like, but the rules, the mountain, bro. Why are you here? Any explorer must submit a request and can only do so while accompanied by the Midnight Rangers. Chang Li's about to take this guy out herself. Sir, could you please share your reasons for traveling here alone? I... I heard about Mount Firmament's legend, so I came to find its secret. I've only been in the mountain for half a day. Everything was going smoothly before those monsters pounced on me on my way back. <laughs> I must get back. Fooling. She's still waiting for me. Who's that? He doesn't look like he's been here half a day. It seems he is still hiding something from us. <sighs> He needs to go back to Hongjin for proper medical attention. Time's against us. We could just let him die. <laughs> just saying. We don't have to save him. Who is he going to tell when he's dead? Fine. Something feels strange about this place. I'm not talking about escorting him at all. Indeed. Tacit he's totally fine on his own. He literally has plot armor. On Mount Firmament of all places. This is unusual, to say the least. Deadpool movies? Oh. We can continue our conversation later, after getting him to safety. Could probably just throw him off the mountain. He literally didn't even go that far. On that note, we still don't know his identity. Judging from his uniform, he might be affiliated with the Pioneer Association. He mentioned someone waiting for him. Then perhaps that someone is in Hongjin. Could be his friend, or an acquaintance. Good point, Rover. Let's head back. Bro. We just got here, and we're already leaving. Oh, she's making a stank face. She made a stank face! She's like, eh. Eh. Make it fast. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know anything about this? His companions? Um, sorry, I joined the association not long ago. I don't really know them. His gear, though? These are last year's designs. 
Perhaps you should go ask Yoning. She's been a member for quite some time. She might know him. Yoning's just up ahead. Whoa! Uh, uh, greetings, Lady Chengli. That's insane how she says that, but uh, they make me change the rover. Uh, how may I help you today, Lady Chengli? Oh, and hello, rover. <laughs> uh, the oh. person on your back. Is he okay? He's fine. We found him on Mount Firmament. Do you know where his companions might be? Isn't this Wu Li? What happened to him? How am I supposed to know? Oh yeah, I do know. Never mind. <laughs> he was attacked. He's still unconscious. He's one of the Pioneer Association's explorers, but we don't see him around Jinjo too often. I remember he went on sabbatical months ago, and he left with Fu Ling. Months ago? Yes, Fu Ling, his girlfriend. I think they're visiting Hongjian together. They're staying at the inn over there. Oh, Fu Ling asked us about his whereabouts not long ago. She seemed quite worried. Speaking of, is he really okay? Perhaps we should get him to a hospital first. No, he's fine. No, I'm not going. Fooling. She's waiting for me. See, he's fine. He doesn't want to go. Don't worry. We'll help you find Fooling. <laughs> he said it himself. Wait, I'm guessing the person I'm looking for now is Take Fooling. Four. Damn, I didn't even go that far. He's got dedication. I'll give up that. Dedication? Yeah. He is loyal. Is that her? Wow, she, uh, she, okay, she just teleported it into the seat. Oh, she's cute! Wooly? I... Same, I died for her too. Honestly, I respect it now. I understand. I... I... <laughs> Breathe. Take it easy. Same. Oh, Thank she's you. sick. I'm okay Was he trying now. to heal her? Who are you? Oh. And Wooly, is he? That's him. Wooly? Yes, I am. Can you please tell me what happened? Wooly! Wooly! You're hurt! I've been looking for you. You didn't pick up my calls. Great news, Wooly. I found it. Finally. I found a way to slow down your illness. No more pain, my love. We can finally be together. Forever. Not if I have anything to say about it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you mean that legend? I wouldn't get it's involved. real? <laughs> Fooling... Are you... Are you not happy? No, I am. I I'm so glad to hear it. <laughs> Sounds like she's lying, for real. Yes. Oh. I guess he wasn't okay. Holy. Who could have who could have seen that coming? Thank you, Rover, Lady Chungli. You saved his life. I didn't really do anything to be fair. <laughs> he kind of fought himself out of his own predicament. May I please ask? What on earth happened? I've never seen Wu Li like that. He probably ate some mushrooms. So, he said he only spent half a day in the mountains. Was that not the case? N no. I I've been... I I've been waiting for almost a week. He definitely ate some shrooms in there. I it's not unusual for Wooly to be out of touch for a few days when he goes on long trips. This time, however, seemed longer than usual. She just suddenly turned British? If it for you two showing up, I would have asked the Midnight Rangers to help me search for him in the mountains. They, they, like, did her accent just switch up, like, in between that entire thing, or is it just Wooly, me? Wooly, he... he did it for me. <laughs> I, I swear you didn't have his accent. Painter. Two seconds ago. Wooly and I met through work, 
and we traveled to many places together. A few months ago, I got really sick. It affected my ability to walk, which got worse over time. We couldn't go on our adventures like we used to. Wu Li stopped taking on work and traveled all over the world to find a cure for me. What is code switching? Despite his efforts, we couldn't find any cures. Until two weeks ago, when he brought me to Hong Zhen. Said he had a surprise for me. I thought it was just going to be a relaxing trip, but he disappeared for seven days. And now he's back, rambling about having found a way to stop my condition from progressing. He was saying something about a legend. Mount Firmament's secret of immortality, I presume? Yes. Wu Li told me that he's researched and found an untouched paradise on Mount Firmament. A place where time stands still. He said if I live there, my condition would never worsen. It, it, it cannot fully cure me. Seems but at least we switch can spend like a eternity together. Same conversation. Ah. At first I thought it was just a myth. But then you brought up how he only spent half a day in the mountains. Maybe his time was switched. Those were my thoughts as well. But Wu Li seemed very certain. Mount Firmament used to have temporal disruptions caused by its tumultuous history. However, thanks to Magistrate Jinshi and Rover, these disruptions have been dealt with. Or so we had hoped. So there are still unaddressed temporal disruptions in the mountains. And unfortunately, Wu Li has stumbled upon one, mistaking it for the legendary cure he was searching for. Little did he know it would only put him in more danger. I see. So that's why there were rumors of rangers being here to take care of the leftover tacit discords and block off access to the mountain. Then, if this temporal disruption you speak of is truly so dangerous, Rover, Lady Chengli, please help us get rid of it for the sake of everyone here. But your friend, he's not your friend. He Girlfriend, truly right? thinks it's the only way to save you. He's willing to take a slim chance just for you. Aww. I... Freezing my own time. <sighs> I don't think I should do that. It's not my best option. I appreciate your concerns, but I'll be fine. Dreams I'm okay. always Watch come to an me. end. Eventually, we have to wake up and keep moving forward. <coughs> I'm, I'm okay. I haven't talked this much in a long time. Ew. Uh, you need to rest. I'm just a little tired. I'll be fine after some rest. That's literally what I just said. What the fuck? Once Wu Li wakes up, I'll explain everything to him. If you have any other ideas, just tell him. But if you keep it all to yourself, no one, even those closest to you, will know how you really feel. Yes, I understand. Rover, things are taking a turn. We should probably tell Lady Xing Yi first. Take four. 
I just hit that child. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Going against wind. How long is Chain Lee quest? I don't know. What brings you oh God, here at this time of the day? It's the gill. Uh, there's been an incident. I see. Strange appearances of tacit discords in the mountains. And undiscovered temporal disruptions. There are several questionable details according to Rover's description. What do you make of Fu Ling's words from earlier, Rover? I don't know. Her name literally says Fu Ling. I have no clue. <laughs> he claimed to have spent only half a day in the mountains, but it's been seven days since he returned to Hongzhen. That does sound like some kind of temporal disruption. One that wasn't strong enough to affect Hongzhen. After Jinxi's battle with the Sentinel, she ordered Midnight Rangers to patrol Hongzhen and inspect Mount Firmament for any lingering temporal disruptions before reopening it to the public. Mm. Rover, you've been exploring the mountains lately, so I'm sure you have a good grasp on Mount Firmament. But if there are any hidden disruptions we missed. Someone kept it hidden. Precisely. Yet, why did it reappear at this point? Maybe it needed a trigger. Fu Ling's legend differs from the situation at Mount Firmament we're familiar with. In that tale, mortals were spared the cost of losing years from their lives. He was utterly convinced of his discovery, and he somehow managed to run into temporal disruptions in half a day's time. Also, when I questioned him, he evaded my inquiries. He was hiding something! Lies that are most challenging to detect aren't usually outright falsehoods. Rather, they hide parts of the truth. The explorer wanted to save his friend, indeed, but he was also hiding something. Didn't he say that that was his girlfriend? Why do they keep saying friend? I've become rather curious about the truth behind this temporal disruption. Fooling doesn't even seem happy about it. Did you notice something, Rover? She accepted it way too quickly. I don't know. For someone with a terminal illness, they should hold on to any chance of survival, no matter how slim. Is that what you think? Well, no. I mostly meant... That's not what I meant at all. I mostly meant that he disappeared, and the reason why was because of a time distortion. She's just like, okay. Maybe she's come to terms with her destiny. Or maybe she never planned on continuing to live like that forever. I assume so. That's fine. Chang Li? Yeah, literally like hinting that Chang Li doesn't live for very long, man. <laughs> well, please pardon my baseless speculations. About the anomaly. I knew you'd notice, too. The frequency disturbance here is weak. It's similar to past temporal disruptions at Mount Firmament, but not exactly the same. Master Xuanmiao's records show that this is where the game record last appeared. This is also where we found that explorer. It is. As Chang Li mentioned, this anomaly may indeed have something to do with that legendary game record. It does?
Exactly. If this were to be the case, then we are not the only ones searching for its whereabouts. Yeah. The explorer did not tell us about his source of information. But his knowledge of Mount Firmament far exceeds that of a first-time visitor. You mean... Something bigger. Got it. The Midnight Rangers will block all entrances to the mountain for now. And Chang Li, you still have the power to send in garrison troops as needed. We left Mount Firmament in a hurry. I need to go back up the mountain and investigate further. I have some theories that could use confirmation. We're still unsure about the exact location and range God, of the temporal eyes are disruption. So, like, nice. Regardless, yeah. its reappearance is a pressing issue that needs our attention. God, her boobs are big. It may get dangerous. I'm okay with that. Having one more person makes it less dangerous. You could sacrifice my life or run away. Well then, <laughs> thank you, Rover. Thank you again for your help. You were supposed to be here for a relaxing time. But it seems another crisis has popped up. It's okay, Grandma. I'll take care of it. You love seeing Chang Lee's expressions? I know. Do She's so expressive. I love caution. it. Return to the cave in which you met Broski. Okay. Huh? Oh. Take four. The fuck happened to fast. my oh, what happened to my car? <gasps> a little rat. Look at you. I'm gonna mark you for later so I don't feel like picking it out. Waterfall ate my bike. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Well, wait, let me. My dearest Willy, how are you? Blah, 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 blah. I don't have many days left. I trust you'll find the wonders we want to say. Blah, 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 blah. This is our quest. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Continue your journey. Blah, blah. Okay. Um, recommended something care, smiled, it wasn't about losing hope, but finding a chance to explore. Ugh. Asked me to map out her journey, she took the spots, delving a task, worried she wouldn't make it, brushed off concerns. Uh, couldn't do anything. Couldn't find a treatment, rented a hologram projector. Wanted snapshots of landscapes. Encountered a tacit field. Camera failed to capture it. If only she was here. Discovered a strange man in red. Oh, Scar. Shared a weird story with him. It's definitely Scar. Discovered the true identity of that man in red. Made a deal with them to use his identity to find a hidden object in the mountains. I'll join back BC now when you're it has done with become story. quite clear okay. what the two were thinking. So this is what she had I in had mind. I have my speculation. Fooling has come to terms with her impending death. She doesn't buy into the legends of immortality. Instead... She simply wants to make the most of the time she has left and fulfill her and Wu Li's dreams together. Honestly, I respect that. If Wu Li wants to reach that so-called paradise, he'll be trapped inside forever. That is not what she wants for him. Mm -hmm. Her ultimate desire is for her lover to embrace her inevitable passing and to realize the joint aspirations they hold in her place. 
So now they refer to her as his lover? She but before they were just saying up, friend. But rather clings to hope for their future. Even if she won't be there to see it unfold. Would you make the same choice if it happened to you? I'm going to answer this question. I'm sure I would make the same choice. Or it's like, I'd rather spend my time with the person I, I truly care about and then die. Rather than like a chance for living forever and suffering the entire way there. Hmm? And then maybe but even just dying at the end anyway. Question. Uh, I think she does care about her own death. So I'm gonna say you true. You seem to truly I'm just understand. making an educated guess from what we've collected. Yeah, sure. And honestly, fooling isn't exactly good at keeping things to herself. Which is funny because her name sounds like fooling. Let's stay focused on the issue. While the diary is cryptic, it still exposes the true intentions it really of whoever isn't that misled cryptic. Wu Li. It's no coincidence. All the clues point to a correlation between the temporal disruption and the legends of the Weichi game. Sis. Or maybe someone's trying to make us connect the dots. Yes, information on the actual powers of Jue. This isn't the kind of information an ordinary explorer can obtain. I guess our old friends have still not given up. They went to great lengths just to lead us here. It would be rather rude of us to not respond in some way. According to the information in my master's notes and Wooly's map, The place we're looking for should be just ahead. Let me know when I'm halfway through, by the way. Is that? Raisu. The chaotic temporal disruptions are even clearer to see. Traces of excavation on the ground. Looks like someone was trying to dig a hole with their bare hands. Could it be Wu Li? This is a Weichi board. The abnormal time flow here is most likely caused by the Chronosorters. Perhaps there's a way to fix it. Done. Marvelous play. It's literally me. <laughs> Occupying <laughs> both solid territory and influence, an extraordinary move. Never had I imagined. So I'd it was me in not a tiny thing. <laughs> you may look young, my friend. But there's so much more to you than meets the eye. I recognize those boobies from anywhere. Please, no need to be so modest. I can tell the difference between our skill levels. This is my master's voice. The voice of the other person seems deliberately erased. Who do you think the other person looks like? T like me. Stanley just doesn't answer. It has been decades since last we met, but you, my friend, still look the same. Yeah. Well, turns out I had already met you all those years ago. My lifesaver. And you're older than me. I should have been more respectful back then. So you remember our promise. I am overjoyed. Which is surprising because I don't remember shit. A new the city is being. about to be established. 
Having accomplished so much, why do you choose to retire now? I may have spoken out of turn. If you're not in a rush to depart, Ginger, how about another round of Weiji with me? <coughs> well played. Even after 20 years, I still have no chance of winning against you. Yeah, fuck you, old man. <laughs> I barely noticed how so much time has passed. Every move in Wei Chi is fluid and unpredictable. Even if we start with the same opening, or the outcome can never be predetermined. We see this in our game. And it's true for all the lives out there. My clan are a group of hermits. We view the world as a game of strategy, manipulating the ebb and flow behind the scenes. Oh, but you, my friend, chose to enter the game yourself. It's a dangerous path with no end in sight. Oh, I want to help, but my time is running out. I won't be there when you finally succeed. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. Now, oh, please don't feel sad for me. I didn't. If I die, it would be an honor to rest at the Sentinel's feet. Oh, okay. When the time comes, the one who shall finish this game of Weiji with you will not be me, but rather my apprentice. Okay, so Chang Lee will finish it with me. Got it. Do my plans seem too risky to you? There's no need no, They're pretty concern. accurate right now. With her intelligence and quick thinking, she'll surely be able to solve this puzzle. Okay, I get he's an old man, but like, can you talk faster, please? The results of this game will decide the fate of Ginger. And even the entire world. The road ahead is long and treacherous. <laughs> Bro's taking his game. time when he's already fucking dead, man. What about my Let's lifespan? Make it. Thank God. Oh my God, he's still here. Disappeared from my sight. How are you gonna play the game when you're sitting so far away from the table? I love the little help. I love the little head tilt that she had there. Like, huh? Head tilties. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> You're ruining the moment! You've come this far and followed us here, yet you hesitate to reveal yourselves. Guess I'll have to take the lead and extend an invitation. Don't assume you'll always be in control, Chung Ling. Why do you have a good voice? Who the fuck is this? Our friendly chat is over. It's time to say goodbye. How delicious. Still not giving up yet, Chung Li. We know more than that unfinished game. We are well aware of the price you have paid. You're dangling at the end of your rope. 
Yeah. Like, dangle my nuts in your mouth. Fuck out of here. Talking to her like that. To our target. Somebody else? Oh. Is nice. that so? What in the hell? The Sonoro Sphere is open. Go. What in the fuck? Sorry, but you're not getting past me. It won't be that hard. Jue's formidable time bending abilities at their peak. All trapped within this Sonoro Sphere, as I'm sure you are well aware. We really weren't, but considering that you're willing to tell us everything, sure, why not? <laughs> Do you really want to chase after this legend when you don't even know if it's real? So what? Wouldn't it be a sight to behold as this Sonoro Sphere consumes everything in its path while the temporal disruptions bring death? You're out anyway, of your mind! Anyway, Rover, thank you for letting us into this Sonoro Sphere. I did what now? You are indeed very special, as the Excellency foretold. I thought you were protecting it. Why did you go into it? Bro just fucked up his job. What? His whole thing- his whole job was to not let us go through and then he walks in himself. Like, how are you supposed to stop us if you just go in? An unfamiliar space. That's a space. fucking joke. What the, what the no fuck? No sign of the Fraxidus. Chung- No! Don't come any closer! Oh, it sounds like little Chang Li. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> what the fuck? I know, she's a baby! Oh wow, she's a strong baby. <laughs> little Phoenix girl. You got burned, let me help you. I think... Are you okay? Oh, look at her! She's so tiny! She's adorable. I, I'm fine. It's my forte. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Oh, no, it's okay. You... Stay away from me. Oh, you'll get burned. Uh, you could literally... Melt my skin off. And I would be fine. You won't burn me. I'm very tough. Literally this fireproof. Was attacked by tacit discords. There's nothing left. Why did you come here? No one but the exiles are willing to stay here now. Okay, to be honest, I don't really have... I don't really have an answer. Uh, do you know Chang Li? Chang Li? Who's that? Literally you. I'm the only one here. Besides the tacit discords. And why are you here alone? She's so when precious, here, I know. No one's afraid of me. I will protect and I her. I won't hurt anyone. Anyway, you should hurry up and leave. It's not safe for you to be here. She looks just like Chang Wei. She's so angry. Look Mirages at her. Mirages in the Sonaro Sphere shouldn't be able to hold a conversation like this. Are these phantoms pulled from Chang Li's memory? Generated by the retroact effect? Huh? Huh? She's so confused. Whatever the case is, I can't leave her here alone. Yeah, I will not leave her here alone. Why did you stop I'll protect talking? you. Are you lost? Yeah, I'm kind of lost. I... I can take you somewhere safe. I know a shortcut that leads to a safer village. Look at you, little <sighs> wayfinder. She's still leading the way. I will reach out. It's okay. Hold my oh. hand. It's okay. I'm fireproof. Thank you. Hey, look, meet yourself when you're older. This is you.
Okay, I have to find something to hold this down. Uh, was there something like this here before? It's These okay. These mechanisms. They need to be unlocked from both sides at once. Okay, let's each handle one side. I'll go oh, look there. at her run! Look at her run! Oh, she's adorable. Yeah. I I barely clicked it. Whoops. But it's fine. It's open. Where is she? We'll be safe once Where we get out of she? here. This oh, I guess place she just seems disappears. a bit different from what I remember. Did I accidentally unfreeze them? I'm just gonna ignore them. <laughs> These are... the villagers. Attacked by tacit discords. Why? There weren't any of them here before. Don't worry. My forte is strong. I will get rid of them and protect you. Oh, I will protect you. He's adorable. Don't worry, I have this flaming ball of fire. That didn't do what I thought it did. Okay, you could leave it to me. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I won't hold you back. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. I want to protect her. That was easy. You're doing great, honey. The village I lived in got destroyed by those scary monsters. Yo. Oh. They hid me in a safe basement. Oh. While everyone else died or ran away. No one except me made it out alive. Oh no, that's traumatizing. When I came out, I'm so sorry. No one was there anymore. Now, I must get to somewhere safe. It's okay. Well, that's probably not okay that everyone died, but you're not alone okay. anymore. Oh, okay. Okay. Our efforts paid off. What is this? There's a piece of paper. It has turned yellow. When the village was raided, I felt to protect anyone with all my efforts. Now I'm left with these old injuries, the rest of my meager life, and some food to spare. If I had arrived sooner... It's not your fault. <sighs> okay. Okay. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, come on. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Tiny Chang Lee is so cute. Whoa. Did you find something? I found some dry rations. They look well kept. Oh, it's a bit frozen. 
No worries. I can use my fire to heat it up. Are you hungry? I haven't seen you take a single bite. You can have these. What about you? I... I'm not hungry yet. How do you like these? Go stand on it. Yeah. Now come through. We gotta keep her safe. She's too kind. I know. Make it fast. Go stand on it. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Hasn't eaten in a long time and still offered us food first. I know. Oh my god, it's the Genshin thing. More tacit discords. Stay away from her, scum. That. Okay. Her bigger oh. self will protect her smaller self. <laughs> Mind's eye. I have twenty two hundred health. <laughs> Is this the key to that door? Yes. And those tacit discords just devoured the frequencies of the guard on door duty. She's <gasps> fine. <laughs> oh, should I can't heal? He, she'll be fine. Look at this. Um. Easy. Glad you found them useful. <sighs> no, does it hurt? It might look kind of scary, but actually, it doesn't hurt at all. You're literally like whimpering because it hurts. No. Of course. I'm a resonator too, you know. My forte is a powerful one. I control fire. Nothing's brighter and warmer than fire. It can burn away the cold and drive away monsters. But the fire could burn Th yourself too. That's because I don't know how to properly control it yet. Oh, she's so cute. The resonator who taught me about my forte said, if I don't use it properly, I'll die young. Well, damn. They also said a lot of things I couldn't understand. Told me I shouldn't use it too often. Oh no. But if I don't use my forte, I'd get eaten by the tacit discords or killed by the bad people. What's yeah. the point of living a longer life if I can't even survive? Yeah. I wanna live. I wanna become a strong grown-up. Yeah, you do. I wanna have good control of my power and protect the people who protected me in the past. Yeah, you do. And then <laughs> and then. I'll make a peaceful and prosperous world for everyone. You're trying that. I don't think yes. you've done it yet. According to the village teacher, that means children will no longer be in danger from monsters. We'll all have enough to eat and stable lives. But I've still got lots to learn. So I'll need to find someone really strong and learn from them. Yeah, you, you will. You'll find somebody. And you'll become strong Thank yourself. You. I want to become as strong as you are. You will. But you gotta take care I... of yourself. I understand. Oh, she's so cute. What a strange place. It's supposed to look familiar, but there are so many things I've never seen before. It's okay, I'll this figure it out. Door. I don't know why, but I keep getting the feeling that I've been here before. It's so weird. Well, let's look around. Maybe we'll find something. Oh, it's her big self. 
Oh no, a puzzle. I, I'm not that dumb. I love puzzles. <laughs> Why'd you say, oh no, a puzzle? Ooh. It's me versus... It's me looking at me, looking at me, looking at... Me looking at another me. That's you! This is... created inside this sonorosphere. As I stepped inside, both Rover and the Fraxidus vanished into thin air. The frequencies are constantly changing. This is her point of view now. The flow of time is chaotic, just like it had been on Mount Firmament. A sonorosphere affected by temporal disruption. Once someone enters, there's risk of being stuck inside forever. And if my master had planned all of this... Did he do this to mislead? To separate? Or perhaps... I should be careful. Whatever the case, I must find Rover first. Starving. Oh, this thing. Oh, if I burn it a bit with my fire, I can eat it, I guess. Oh, she's hungry. Feed her. Feed her. Try to play me, you little thief. No! I found these all by myself! Ha! <laughs> you think I'm buying this story? How the hell does a little homeless brat like you score all this They're food? They're stealing her food! This is our turf. Better scurry off if you know what's good for you. Why don't we let her stay? See, she's a... We've got plenty of mouths to feed already. Unless you're planning to have her eat from your plate. All the exiles, I'm killing every single one of them now. Like, I know they're bad, but like now they're even more bad. How dare they? I can do it. Kill them, yes. yeah. Back then, I didn't know how to control my flames. I could only brute force my way out of it. My body was always covered in burns. Aww. Make it fast. Watching Jang Lee gameplay. She's Mil, so hot. Are you okay? Oh, 
Oh There's God! Been a lot more tacit discords lately. The bomb. Oh, <laughs> it's just in the cutscene. I'm fine. Thank you for driving those monsters do? away. But I'm a resonator. Oh. These wounds are nothing. Oh, oh, honey. Uh, you shouldn't be trapped in this place like we are for the rest of your life. You should go to the city. With a powerful forte like yours, you'll surely find a wonderful future for yourself there. But, ma'am, what about you and the others? You go out there and make something of yourself. Make us proud. And when you're ready, come back for us. <laughs> Aww. What do you say, dear? And these. Take these with you on your way there. Oh, it didn't it just didn't blow up. Um What's supposed to happen? Oh. How do you like these? This place. This is where Master once lived in seclusion. The spaces are a jumbled mess inside this Sonarosphere. Come all this way. What do you need from me? I... I am... Y you gave me some food before. I haven't thanked you yet. You misunderstood my intentions. When I sought shelter in your hideout during the rain, I gave you rations as a small token of thanks. No need to be troubled by it, little one. But... But you told me... The path to safety lies in embracing fortuitous moments. I didn't understand what you meant by that. The old man is forgiven. <laughs> well, uh, I only said those words on a mere whim. Never expected you to remember them so clearly. I've heard Master Xuanmiao is a wise hermit guru who helps people. Can you maybe take me as your apprentice? Aww. I've been searching for you for so long. Please, will you consider it? I want to live, learn to control my power, and become stronger. Or I won't see a peaceful and prosperous world. Do you know what defines a peaceful and prosperous world? I think... I think it means people can take care of themselves and... Have a place to call home. Aww. <sighs> He's like, damn, that's a good answer. <laughs> I, I'm a resonator too. I have a strong forte. Look. Is this flame manipulation? I can't go backwards. I have to walk forward. <sighs> Such a fearful power. If not used wisely, it may engulf you in return. He noticed immediately. Without proper guidance, you will eventually be reduced to ashes. Alas, perhaps this is fate. The teacher? I can teach you how to control your power. 
But in this world of ups and downs, relying solely on brute force will not get you far. If you long for a peaceful and prosperous world, you must utilize your own intellect to choose, strategize, and shape the f Come over, child. Oops, cut him off. My bad. Okay, I'm, I'm coming. You bear One second. the powers of flame <laughs> manipulation. A phoenix born from fire. One that shall bring peace to this world. From this day on, <gasps> your name will be Chung Li. Oh, it means eternal flames. Aww. Does that mean if she dies, she comes you back to the Phoenix? Master. <sighs> My time I'm not. in this world is up. But My child. Could be. I have my own destination to head to. I can only accompany you so far on this journey. Are you going to a dangerous place alone? Why can't I go with you? Oh, it's not your turn to go there yet, Chang Li. You are a very gifted child, and you will surely achieve greatness one day. But the price you pay for forcefully employing your forte can never be erased. Mm. Oh, your lifespan is doomed to be much shorter than that of ordinary people. Yes, I understand. Remember what I have taught you. Ponder carefully, plan oh, meticulously. Yeah. Has a short and shield yourself wisely. But I figured it, but like, come on, man. You aspire to become your impact on this world shall be great. Chung Li will remember your teachings by heart, Master. But, Master, this person you want me to find, how should I find them? When the time comes. You will know, and you will have my aid. You need only use your wisdom to offer that person some necessary guidance. She is the only one who can truly change this world. You must find and help her. This way. The world of prosperity you seek will soon be within reach. I believe I've found that person, Master. This Weichi board and the Sonoro Sphere. They are both a puzzle and an answer. The end of the Sonoro Sphere. Turns out it's exactly where she is. Yeah. Make it fast. Oh, puzzle. I guess this is another riddle from my master. Staying at puzzles. Yeah, she found us. Almost. She can see us now. You okay? 
I... I'm fine. I think I'm remembering something. Oh, yeah. But it's all just a it's blur. Okay. I can't make out any clear images. I've been looking for something for a long, long time. Yeah, I think it's me from what I've understood. I don't know. I just remember that it's very, very important. Something that can change the world. But I'm starting to wonder why I'm even here. Oh, she's scared, O'Neill. Everything looks I so different from what I remember. And why do you look so familiar? We've never met before. Maybe we met in the future. <laughs> Is this a part of the missing device? We might device? be able to open that door with it. What will we find behind that door? Well, you switch gears fast. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. I don't, I don't know what I clicked. Whoops. Yeah. I hope so. Uh, yeah. No clue what I just clicked there. I literally was just spamming left click and then dialogue popped up and I was like, oh. Oh. Whoops. Look, shinies. <laughs> oh, look, shinies. <sighs> oh, she's spookified. <sighs> Protect her. A scheme would be grander than not. I wish malevolence in its nascent guise. Master? Cutscene! Shun Li, you have done well. Now that you have found the answers you seek, it is time to begin your journey. Oh? Can she see herself now? From this moment on, the choices you make and the plans you lay out. You waiting? Oh, no, no, take this her place. head. Run! It, it, it's a trap. They played us. Oh, that's a that's a big kitty cat. It wants to play. It wants to play. My blade yearns. Mind's eye. Sever. Leave it to me. Listen up. Life is in every. So many screenshots. Drum beat strong, ill fortune gone. Cat, not a fan of hand holding. Man, how's that? Let me hold her hand, you little kitty. It's not doing any damage. Now oh, that's just cheating. What the fuck? Oh shit. Together we vanish. Beckon the divine flames. <laughs> Try Cat fucking sacrifice. uses plot armor against me. Make it fast. You're floating! I can do that too, actually, when I think about it. Feathers incinerate. Wow, I did it way too tall. My time to shine! <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies. Huh. Uh, play 
time's over. Whoa, what are those? Let's play hide and seek. This is my curtain call. Did I win this time? Cutscene. Family is here. Oh, is she gonna go? Is she gonna pop off? Oh my god, the boob jiggle. Don't go. Don't worry. <gasps> oh gosh. She's making a, a, a go board. This game is almost over. The music though. Why is it so sad? Come to me, I will protect you. Can you feel it? It's warm. Oh. Doesn't oh. hurt at all. Hand holding, See? hand holding. My my hand, my brain just went to a bad a we a weird thought, and I don't know if I should say it. It's my so beautiful. <laughs> my brain, no, I'm not saying it. Do it. Can't make me. Can't can't make me. Oh, Uli. This is the that... miracle we've been waiting to see. It's hope. Reborn I forgot I had that redeemed. Oh, okay. My, do you know when she says like her hand is warm? In matter of fact, we can make you say that. Do you know when she says like her hand is warm? I was thinking, like, how would it feel if, like, she fingered you with her hand like that? You guys made me say it! Why are you... Okay, you guys literally made me say it with with the redeem. And then you're like, oh, God, what the hell? Why you gotta loot our precious? <laughs> I, I wasn't trying to. She's so kind and wholesome. She can rub your shoulders warmly. Nah, I thought like she could finger me warmly is what I thought in my head. And I was like, you know, maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> like this is such a wholesome moment. Like I don't need to say it. <laughs> and then you guys redeem do it. So I have to say like the last thought I had. And I forget that I had that. Fooling. Wrong time, wrong place. You would oh you're not alone? True. Oh my god, it's 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 grandma. See, you guys regret it now. It's over. I meant that too, but I wouldn't I didn't want to be the one to say it. Did you find <laughs> what you were looking for? Well I said it. Oh her smile. 
Oh no, her fingers. It reminds me Thank of things. Thank you for your Oh help. God. The Midnight Rangers have successfully apprehended all remaining <laughs> Fraxidus members in the mountains. And the effects of the temporal it's disruption not my have fault. now vanished. Gay, gay woman thinks gay thoughts. I'm sorry, but when I see a woman's hands, when I see a nice, like, when I see a woman's hands that are nice, it's like one of my first thoughts, you know, like one of like the nice compliments of you have nice hands. D there is an underlying meaning sometimes. I lost all contact with you during this whole time. Hear me time. out, the grandma. I've been Did saying the grandma trouble? the entire time too. The grandma, yes. Temporal disruption hidden inside a sonorosphere. Why are you surprised? It makes sense now why it stayed hidden for so long. I never thought the solution would be to she's burn pretty. down the entire sonorosphere. No, from she's the pretty. Inside. You went too far back there, Chang Li. Oh. Your condition. I know my limits. I don't. I was gonna say I don't think she needs us to tell her. I was just about to say. I think she knows like what she can do, and I think she just wants to do the most she can do before she disappears into a sea of butterflies. But it's more of what you gotta sleep because of work. Oh sevens. Rover, Lady Chung Li. How are you feeling? I don't really care. Wu Li is fine now. Thanks to his doctor's help. As for me, well, at least I can still walk a bit. That's good. I didn't care about him. After all, it's been almost five days. Oh, it's been five days. Oh, okay. So it's already been five days. I never Felt properly like two thanked hours. you for bringing me back to Hangzhen. I heard about the attack. First thing by you the saw when you clicked my stream was tits. Mm, I, wouldn't be my stream I'm if so that didn't sorry. happen. Just saying. <laughs> no need for that. I understand. The Fraxidus had their eyes on the same thing we did. They've been planning an ambush on us for a long time. Why would we blame it on you? We will never forget how you saved us. I did? You gave us the opportunity to witness such a breathtaking sight. Thanks to your help. Oh, this right. When he saved no himself earlier. Right, 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 right. As for the truth behind the so-called secret of immortality, Fu Ling has told me everything. Yeah. I had a gut feeling it would turn out to be a disappointment, but I couldn't give up. And in the end, I lost sight of why I even started this journey. But this isn't the first time this has happened. Let's just call it another adventure coming to an end. I've talked about it with Fu Ling. From now on, I'll take her on more trips to see more new places together. Yeah, just spend time with her. I think that's probably what she wanted the most. Until... <laughs> Until the day when I can no longer hold a pen. I've already talked to the folks at the publishing house, and they're happy to let me continue painting for them. My... Eventual departure may be unavoidable, but I want to give it my all until the very end. I know you have already looked past death, but remember, there are people who care about you. Me speaking to her, speaking to Chang Lee. They Chain want you to live on <laughs> and be happy. She could tell. <laughs> yes, I understand. Sometimes I wish we could stay together a little longer, if only for a while. Of course, fooling. I. We've always been. It's not time to be sad yet, is it? I've compiled a list of renowned doctors in She's Hong trying Hong. to help! They're highly skilled and may offer assistance for your medical condition, which is challenging but not impossible to cure. 
Lady Chungli, I, I truly can't thank you enough. No need for thanks. Hmm. If you're feeling generous and want to repay me, I hope to see Fu Ling's work in the next issue of Artists of Huang Long. Everyone's been missing seeing their favorite landscape artists work lately. I know you read magazines. Are you surprised? Well, now I'm curious. What kind of a person do you see me as? Lonely. Or maybe used to be. Maybe not anymore. Now that the situation has been resolved, you should return to Hongzhen. You deserve some good rest. After going through so much, you must be exhausted, Rover. Nah, I'm fine. Me? Well, I think Lady Xing Yi could use the extra help in dealing with the aftermath. Sure you'll be okay? <laughs> well, it wouldn't hurt to have a little more faith in me. It's getting late. Maybe we should wait until we get back to discuss anything else. Oh. Thank you for the raid, Jazzy. Hello, Raiders. My name is Ray. I'm a Red Fox VTuber. I play games like Weatherwing Waves and uh, League of Legends and eventually Elden Ring. I'm assuming you're playing. Wait, I'm not going to look. You're either playing Elden Ring or you're playing like DVD or something like that. Alright, let's check. Did someone give you a shout out? You were playing DVD. I <laughs> knew it. How is Dead by Daylight? How is Dead by Daylight? That's curtains for you. I have to rest for two days. What the? I'm doing the Changli Companion quest right now. I don't. I, I forget if you play Weathering Waves or not. I fell. <gasps> Do I just like literally wait two days? Like two days later. Two days have passed since Chung oh, I guess told I do. Me okay. She and Xin Yi would handle the aftermath. I wonder how she's doing. Are you worried? Let's just go ask her then. Uh, I don't know. You play a lot of games, did 12 hours? Did 12 hours? Holy! I feel like you're always streaming for like a long time. I feel like you do for really long streams. What, what games did you play? How the fuck do I get up there? You did for a bit, but then you stopped. Ah, uh, that's fair. Make it fast. Oh. Grandma, tell me. Grandma. Greetings. Hi. We're almost done dealing with the aftermath of the previous incident. We're currently questioning the remaining Fraxidus members we caught at Mount Firmament. They wanted to get their hands on the temporal program from the legend of the Wei Qi game, with the intention of unleashing chaos in Mount Firmament once again. But Ow. thanks to you and Chang Li, their plans were foiled. Chang Li recounted to us that a Fraxidus overseer had entered the Sonora Sphere and was injured by her fire. They were lucky to escape, but have not been seen since. 
I've put together a thorough report for City Hall. We will strengthen our defences to make sure this doesn't happen again. What about Chain We Lei? parted two days ago on the coast, and then she returned to Jinjo. Perhaps she's just taking some time to rest and recover. It must have taken a lot out of her to summon that much fire at once. How is she doing? Chang Li knew you'd be worried, and she wanted me to relay this message to you. Meet her at the pavilion on Mount Firmament. She'll be waiting for you there. Oh my god. She also said... <laughs> Again? No more riddles this time. Okay, at least she just tells me straight up, because I had to find that. Oh my... I hope your stream went well, Jazzy. It's time for it's time to relax, probably. feeling rover well rested i hope i'm more concerned about you oh can't you see i'm perfectly fine sitting right in front of you i'm still worried <laughs> i'm a Don't warrior worry, rover we're only having a casual conversation today nothing taxing besides you only agreed to join me here for more questions right not really i mean yeah, that's not my only reason. M Mary. Oh, is that so? I'm curious then. Sure, ask away. I'm happy to answer them to the best of my ability. About the game record and stuff. It all started a century ago, when my mentor, Master Xuanmiao, had a brief encounter with a certain peculiar visitor. You mean mate? During a TD outbreak, my master was rescued by that individual. She exuded a unique energy and was always elusive. My master dug through ancient texts and unearthed her presence in long-forgotten history. After searching for several years, he finally met that person on Mount Firmament again. They played a game of Weichi together and that was how the legendary game record came into being. At first, I thought my master meant the game record held actual information about the time crisis, but that was just a clue. The real key was finding you, the person behind it all. And lastly, the secret of immortality it's most likely just the woodcutter's own spin on the tail. Sure, ask away. I'm happy to answer them to the best of my ability. My master and the mysterious visitor had set a trap with the Sonarosphere, using the Weichi game as a guise. They hid it with the Court of Savante's Chronos Orders, and it would only activate once the time flow on Mount Firmament was restored to its normal state. Despite the Sentinel and Mount Firmament being saved, the Fraxidus would not go down without a fight. They were convinced that the temporal mandate was hidden within the game of Weichi, but little did they know, they had already fallen into a trap. Pure coincidence, or the calculated workings of the Fraxidus, the explorer stumbled upon the Weichi board, setting off its defense mechanisms. The Sentinel was already damaged when it arrived here. My master had foreseen the disasters that would befall Mount Firmament, so he created this mechanism as a precautionary measure. The Sonorosphere would devour all who attempted to enter, 
unless they knew the solution to that puzzle. Precisely. The only way to escape was by burning the Sonorosphere without hurting anyone inside. It required masterful control of Forte. Willpower. Thinking back, it was probably his ultimate test for me. I didn't know someone could plan so much ahead. It's fucking wild. This guy's that playing was his 8D first chess. Goal with this Sonorosphere. There's more? Before leaving, Master entrusted me with a mission. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. To find that individual. The one who played Weichi with him. The one who left behind that game record. After my master's passing, she would be the only one who could control the Sonorosphere. By now, you should know who she is. Is it me? I think this is my thumbnail. <laughs> I think that's my thumbnail. It's is it me? Yes. That's why you seem to know a lot about my me. My master often mentioned you before his passing. And from the moment you arrived in Jinjo, I had my suspicions about your true identity. Our journey to Mount Firmament solidified my beliefs. And finally, the Weichi board in that Sonorosphere sealed the truth for me. Sure, ask away. I'm happy to answer them to the best of my ability. The Indeed. little girl is you. Those memories, they were all real. Hmm. Yes, that's all in the past. Just a little homeless girl with no name. I never thought we could make new memories in the Sonorosphere, where only the past repeats itself. A moment of companionship and protection meant everything to me. But I wasn't really there for you, not in the real past. I can sense your unspoken question. Did I sacrifice my life when I burned down the Sonorosphere, like when I was a child? What I told you there was true. But I've grown and gained control over my powers. Using my forte now won't harm me in any way. I figure. Of that, you can but rest But she's already assured. done damage, I think, right? From using it when she was younger. That's why her lifespan is, like, cut in half or something. Also, if you really are the legendary person who changed the course of history, then you are perhaps the closest to immortality, aside from our sentinel. We mortals come and go. Our lives are full of meetings and goodbyes. Our time on this earth is fleeting compared to yours. So don't let it bother you. I live for the moment. I see. Perhaps this is why it's so hard to leave this beautiful world behind. Then, would you be willing to finish that game of Weichi with me instead? Sure. Never forget. <gasps> Cutscene. The young orphan girl carried on. Everywhere she looked, tragedies rampant. 
as lament engulfed the globe. A world torn by monsters, filled with homeless souls. With her own blood as fire, she drove away the cold. And her master said, In this tumultuous world, lives are fragile as mayflies. She couldn't exhaust herself to save those before her. But she must endure to ignite a brighter tomorrow. She wielded her wits to evade harm, treading on knives with care. Alone, yet maturing through stumbles. Later on, she became someone else's teacher. She taught the future leader this, to guide conscience and secure prosperity for the people, to continue lost teachings of past sages and establish peace for all. I will be the torchbearer, for one person can't rid the world of chaos alone. One day, a future of prosperity and lasting peace will arrive. I guess I finished. Well, damn. I feel like her quest was so emotional. Was so that was definitely writing that I hope affected people emotionally because it was it was very emotional, I feel. Like, emotionally charged, that's the word I'm looking for. Also, the, the like, her facial expressions and, like, her tone of voice was definitely really good for this companion quest. I, I understand now why people were... Oh my. I understand now why people were so, like... Um, like, this is a really good companion quest. This was this was amazing, honestly. This was the best one so far. I I, I personally believe this was the best one so far. Also hi Zeno. <laughs> or no, there no. Also the music the, yeah, like like everything was so good. Like the the the, the music, the the cutscenes, the even the flashbacks, which was done through the time warp or zone or whatever it's called. Instead of it like being like literal flashbacks, it was like done through the time distortion. I think those were all. Those were all like really well done. I'm trying to think is there anything I didn't like? I feel like the only thing I didn't really enjoy is the old man yapping, but I think that was only because that meant less Chang Lee yapping. Yeah, I was like, I think it's just. The old man yapping, but that just meant- But that was only because it was less of Chang Li and more- and, and more like... Old man talking, but like... Obviously he treated her well, so like I'm not actually mad at- I'm not like- I'm not like actually mad at it. So... No, I think that was just- I think the whole thing was just done very well. Yeah, I think the entire thing was just... Beautifully written. I mean, there are obviously parts that they could probably like fix that I don't know about and I'm sure other people if they ever like if they say it and you see someone else's reactions then I would probably be like yeah that makes sense but for right now I can't think of anything I think I would change about the quest itself 
Other than more Changli, maybe. I just want to see her more. Her animations are beautiful. The cutscenes with her in it are just adorable and like pretty.